While you're spending your precious creative life force energy over analyzing your words, over analyzing your expression, there's people out there who, not because they're any better than you, not because they're any more special than you, but just because for the simple fact that they're embodied in more courage than you are right now, are living the life that in some way, shape, or form you desire to be living in your own right, of course. And the reason why you're feeling dissatisfied and frustrated isn't because you don't know what to say. It's not because you don't know what to do. It's because you're afraid of how you'll be perceived in your expression. You're afraid of what other people are thinking of you, how they're going to judge you, how they may reject you, how they misrepresent you, may misrepresent to you, how they may discredit you. You're actually frustrated with yourself. And that frustration becomes a projected frustration upon other people. And so you see them and you get envious of them or you judge them or you make them wrong or bad or shameful or whatever. But really, it's because there are these unmet aspects of your own identity these unmet desires that are longing to be expressed through you. And because you're so focused on what you perceive is wrong with you, you're limiting yourself from fully being in this experiential energy with your own expression, your own creativity, to find the clarity that comes through action, that comes through courageous decision making. And so when you're looking at these other people who have the things that you desire and you're frustrated by them or you're envious of them, it's not because they are doing something wrong or that they're better than you or that they're more special than you. It's literally like they're just devoted to being more courageous than you may be being right now. And they've experienced an ability to hold a deep level of capacity for the intense sensations that come with being perceived by others through being witness through being somebody who you know perhaps is willing to to get it wrong or to fail forward in the pursuit of their greatness and so if you're feeling like you don't know or you're feeling like you're frustrated or you're feeling like the answers aren't coming through my invitation is to look in the mirror and and really get curious about where you're not seeing you, where you're not seeing yourself and to be really intentional about understanding why you are willing to keep yourself small as an attempt to control how other people get to perceive you. And if you're actually willing to continue down a path of limiting yourself instead of embracing who you truly are, instead of embracing the inevitable discomfort that comes with being perceived and making a devotional commitment to being able to hold what's on the other side of being seen, being able to hold rejection, being able to hold judgment, being able to hold the experience of not everyone liking you and to really make the conscious choice of Am I willing to keep rejecting myself? Am I willing to keep abandoning myself as an attempt to control how other people get to love me? And what if I stopped rejecting and abandoning myself? What does it mean for people to love me in the intricacies of who I am? And am I willing to do the brave thing to be able to hold the greatness of who I am? Am I willing to do the brave thing the brave thing to embrace the magic of who I am because again it's people that have the things that you desire they're not more special than you they've just learned how to turn on their magnetism to turn on their it factor energy to embrace the discomfort that can come with success that can come with being seen and to learn to develop such a deep level of self-trust within their nervous system within their subconscious imprinting around how they see themselves that they can handle what comes their way because they've got their own back and so really feel into that for a minute and really feel into like where are you rejecting yourself and and assuming that other people are going to reject you but really you're really you're the one rejecting yourself